out with Real TV Films on the red carpet with the star of the dry land, Ryan Onan. Did I get that right? Close enough. All right, Onan. <laughs> Damn. No now, um, other Ryan, the director, <laughs> was telling me how lucky he felt to have found you, and he told me some really cool story about oh, that's poker. Cool. That's right. Man. <laughs> that is, yeah, we met a, we met a that is funny, yeah, yeah, we met at a poker game. <laughs> And um, just how lucky you felt to have you playing this character. Oh, and the story obviously means a lot. It sounds incredible. I can't wait to see it. Um, and what was this like, you know, this whole experience for you? I mean, it, it, was, inc it was incredible. I mean, as far, you know, as, far as Ryan say, saying he's lucky to have found me, I, I mean, I was lucky to have found him. He's become one of my closest friends in the world. And, I, you know, I couldn't have, couldn't have hoped for a, for a better leader on this, you know, on a... For a, for a difficult task, essentially, you know, because it's the subject. It's it's a very hard subject, you know. And I think where where Ryan, some of Ryan's greatest talents lie is that, you know, he he surrounded the entire set, you know, from from the catering person to the catering person's assistant, all the way up to the incredible actors that are in the film. Um, just wonderful people that were like passionate about the subject, and everybody read the script down to the very last person, and and like. And, um, you know, when you're dealing with subject matter that is, you know, as difficult as this, I mean, you have to have each other's back and you have to be there to support each other. And, it, you know, people will be like, oh, what's, what's the hardest acting part? But I just feel like, you know, Wilmer and, and America and, oh, my God, Melissa, uh, I mean, they made, they made things easy that, that, you know, would have been ten times more difficult for me. But with their support and, and just, you know, sometimes you just... You just listen to them, you know. How did you connect with your character? Do you have any experience, anyone that you know that was... In the I actually have a very close friend of mine that, that is actually in Afghanistan right now. Wow. Yeah, yeah, and, and like, uh, you know, he was with me from when I when I first read the script to um, when I, you know, was inter interviewing soldiers. When me and Ryan interviewed a, a whole bunch of soldiers um, prior to, you know, that had come back and were dealing with post-traumatic stress syndrome. And... You know, there, it's interesting, there's this feeling of, that will never happen to me, you know, which is, which is, which is good at the same time, it's like, it's not, it's not just bad, that feeling, you know, it's, it's a good feeling, they should feel strong, and they should feel like, you know, that they can protect themselves, and they can protect their brothers and their sisters, you know, but the thing that I worry about, about him and about you know all the soldiers is that that feeling of not being able to talk about it if it does happen right. you know if if you if you are suddenly you know you know falling apart inside the way James my character is you know is slowly coming apart and he, he doesn't know what to do about it you know because he's trying to be a strong husband and a son and and a, and a friend you know. Well, Ryan, I wish you all the best of oh, luck. Thank I'm you so, so much. excited to see it. I'm definitely going to check it out in Los Angeles when it's green, so I'm going to miss it here. Good luck and. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. It was really nice to best. meet you. Really nice definitely. to meet you too. Pleasure. Samantha Goodset on the red carpet at the Dallas International Film Festival.